Okay, so what we're going to be looking at in the next two videos are two examples of determining which is the best buy. Now, if you've ever gone to a shop like Costco or something like that where you can get an extreme amount of, um, let's say, cans of beans, for example, you might be able to get each can cheaper at Costco than you might do at a normal supermarket. But there are cases where maybe you are not going to buy that many cans of beans at Costco because ultimately you have nowhere to store it in your house. However, you are able to compare how much you would be paying per can using the methods that we're going to look at in the next two videos. In this problem, what I'm going to look at is, let's say we're going to a coffee shop um, and there is a 500 milliliter cup of coffee for £2.50 and there's a 400 milliliter smaller cup for £2.20. And we want to determine which is the best buy, which for my money will get me the most coffee. Okay, so it is likely that there will be a difference to this when you go into shops, that there will be a difference to how much you're paying. And it's all down to packaging costs, etc. So how are we going to compare these? Now you could compare these in two different ways, really. Um, I mean, they're, you could compare them in uh, millilitres to pounds or pounds to millilitres. So one potential way is that you could look at how much you're going to pay for 100 millilitres in this example. So 100 millilitres would be by dividing by 5. So we divide the price by 5. So we'd be paying 50p for every 100 millilitres. For the smaller cup to get to 100 millilitres, I need to divide through by 4. So £2.20 divided by 4 is actually 55p. And so you can see that 100 millilitres for the larger cup is cheaper. I'm paying 50p for every 100 mils. But for the smaller cup, I'm paying 55p for every 100 mils. So this cup, the larger of the two, would be considered as the best buy. There are also the practical considerations that come into it. You might not buy the larger cup because you don't actually have £2.50 or you don't want so much coffee because of the caffeine effects or it might be because you just don't want to consume too much liquid and your bladder's going to explode or something of that like. So there are those practical considerations that you need to take into account and they could form part of a supplementary question as like a part B, okay? Why might not you might why might you not buy the larger cup of coffee, for example, even though it is the best buy between the two. So in the next example we're gonna look at another one just to see kind of how we can um, work around this problem.